What's up guys? It's Victoria from Under Victoria's Spell and I'm so excited about today's video because I set up my new filming location and I'm just so excited to finally have a new setup. I'm still waiting on my lights to get here so hopefully the lighting will be better soon. Right now it's just natural lighting but I just absolutely love my new little reading nook and it's bookish finally and I just absolutely love it. But the real reason you guys are here based off of the title of this video is I'm doing my mid-month January wrap-up which it's been such an amazing month so far really amazing reads and I cannot wait to talk about them so let's hop right in to today's video. <music> Okay, so in the first half of January, I have read seven books and I'm so proud of myself because I'm trying to read faster and I feel like I'm getting through books a little bit more quickly, but it has been such a great month and I feel like that's really what's encouraging me to continue to just knock out these books. My next few books are kind of longer ones, so those are going to take me a little bit longer to read, but I'm just so excited. So, I have my notebook right here, and so if you see me looking down, it's because I have the books I've read and the star rating that I gave them. So, I started out in January, my first read, I really wanted to pick up a new author, and this was a book that I put on my TBR, and that is Indigo Ridge by Devaney Perry. And this cover is beautiful. I absolutely adored this book. I ended up giving it four stars. I felt like it was a really solid read. It was a great introduction to Devney Perry's books and it had a little bit of romantic suspense. So this follows our heroine as she is the new sheriff in town and her uncle is, act not her uncle, her grandfather is actually the town mayor so he is there to kind of guide her along as well and on her first night there she decides that she's going to have a one night stand with who she thinks is just someone passing through and they have this really amazing connection and just spiciness in the back of a truck at a bar and you know I'm here for that so um she actually finds out the next day when she is going to the scene of a crime that he actually lives there. Like the, his entire family pretty much owns the town and have several generations that have lived there. So, but this romance not only has like their kind of awkward after their one night stand, it has their like sexual tension that goes to like their friends with benefits but the part of the story that actually really intrigued me was the suspense part of it. So you kind of find out that in the beginning, like I said, our heroine goes to a crime scene and she thinks it's for a suicide, but things are kind of just not adding up. And there's also been other suicides in the past seven years or longer. And so she kind of thinks something suspicious is going on there as she, you know, it's very clearly with like the clues that she adds up that there is. I absolutely adored that part of the story. I was so here for it. And let me just tell you, I did not see the ending coming. I read some Goodreads reviews and I saw where people were like, I totally saw the ending coming. I was blindsided. I totally thought it was a different character than who it actually ended up being. So, I really enjoyed this book. The only reason that I didn't give it a five star was because I really hated how in the beginning it was like fade to black for the spicy scenes and it kind of was made it hard for the couple to have that like chemistry built up because it was fade to black for a lot of it. So, I really thought that maybe you know, she could have done that differently, like maybe started out with super spicy and then go to fade to black. But that was the only reason I didn't give it like five stars. Other than that, I really enjoyed this book. And I wanted to continue on in the series. So the second book that I picked up was Juniper Hill by Devaney Perry. I know this is a lot of people's favorite. And honestly, this was such a good book as well. I gave it four stars. It was very solid. This follows one of 
the heroes from the first book's brother and he is a chef in town um at this hotel that you it's kind of a big part of the story as well and um he kind of lives on Jupiter Hill, you know, in the middle of nowhere. And his sister asked him if her new employee that she has hired can rent out his loft because she cannot find a place in town to live. And he reluctantly, reluctantly, yeah, sorry, agrees. And um, she is a single mom that, you know, her baby's just two months old. She's kind of wanting to start completely over and it was really heartbreaking, you know, reading her story, but I admired her so much for her strength and, you know, the will to make a good life for her and her child. thought it was so beautiful. Also, our hero kind of has a difficult past when it comes to children as well. I thought that was a really great tie-in. Overall, this story was just so romantic and wholesome, and I just loved the entire journey that it went on. Again, the only reason I didn't give it four, I mean, five stars was because I felt like a few storylines could have been played out a little bit better. Like, I really think her family, which you learn that, um, she has a complicated relationship with them. I really think that that could have been played out a little bit more or had a little bit more resolution. And also, the baby's father's storyline was just a little, like left field and I think that could have been played out a little bit better but overall I really enjoyed the story I just wish that some of those things would have been like thoroughly discussed but overall still really good and after I read that book I was like I might as well just finish out the books that are released in this series and so I picked up Garnet Flats and this one was the spiciest one of them all and I was living for it so good this follows our heroine who is also a sibling from the family in the past two books and she is in the medical field and she is just not um she's recently become a doctor and people in the town just don't take her seriously because it is such a small town and she's really fighting to find her place in her career in her family in her life and as she's figuring all this out, someone from her past shows back up and kind of just ruins everything and enters our hero who is a UFC fighter, which I thought was so freaking cool. I personally love UFC, so I love this representation in the book. So he has come in and bought a whole building to redo a gym because he's going to be fighting later in the year. And he is here to win his heroine back because they have a past together. Their chemistry was off the charts. I really enjoyed this. And there's just not enough things that I could say that just I really enjoyed this book so much. And also, he is a father as well. And I loved that connection that they had, like the... Um, father-daughter connection and once you learn the story behind his daughter I just thought it made it even better and I really enjoyed this book overall the whole series was so great I also gave that one four stars solid solid books Jasper Vale comes out at the end of this month and I cannot wait to pick it up and I just saw where Devony Perry released um, Crimson Ridge and I cannot wait for that. That book cover is stunning. I absolutely love it. But the next book that I decided to pick up was actually the next three books. I actually did a video before this and it's where I read Caitlin from the Love Librarian's Romance Recommendations. So I'm going to kind of quickly talk about these because I have a whole video if you would like to go and watch it. So I picked up Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. I gave that four and a half stars. It is a found family romance. It is um, forced proximity. Very, very good. It follows our heroine as she is in the process of adopting her baby sister. 
and it follows our hero as he is in the process of adopting his brother who is deaf and pretty much they both are kind of lacking something and while their adoption isn't going through so there's a new program where it's called team up and they can kind of live together for six months and kind of get the finishing touches of what they're needing to be finalized so that they can adopt their siblings and this story was so good the, each of these characters pass they come from a broken home and it was beautiful to see their growth and how much they wanted their own families and how they came together as a family I thought it was beautifully written Caitlin did such a great job at recommending this and I just absolutely adored this book so the next one I picked up in that reading vlog was Treble by Rizal Adams it's actually a novella this is a new to me author and let me just tell you for a novel novella I guess it's five stars it was so well written the author just completely encaptures you in her writing you just are drowning in what she has written on page and I loved it. It follows a polyamorous couple as they both have found they're both interested in the same woman and it is their relationship all three of them and let me just tell you you think that you love smut until you read this and you're like I'm blushing I'm sweating it was just so good beautiful writing if this would have been a full length book I would have thoroughly enjoyed it I thought it was amazing and I definitely want to pick up more by this author and the last book that I picked up for that video was Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt it's also Sam and Tori's pick for their book club this month so I wanted to support them as well and I wanted to kind of interact in their book club so I'm excited for that live show at the end of the month but I gave this book four stars and it was definitely like the most unique romance that I have read this month because it followed two comedians and I've never really read a book like that. I'm not the biggest rom-com fan. I like the deeper steamy stuff but like it was a very good story and it had like some emotions behind it but pretty much it follows our heroine as she is kind of trying to come up in the comedy world and her manager just so happens to be a ex-comedian who became really famous so it is their story together as they both have been secretly in love with each other for years so it's friends to lovers co-workers to lovers and he is also a father of a daughter who is deaf and she knows um asl and it was just such a beautiful story another found family story that i really enjoyed so good i definitely want to pick up more by tara dewitt i think that she did a beautiful job and for someone who doesn't really like rom-com i think it was done very well so going to definitely pick up more by her and the last book that I picked up that I'm going to talk about this month is another novella and it is called Surrender by Rizelle Adams, the same author from Treble. I kind of just wanted a palate cleanser because I knew I was about to go into a heavy book. So I was like, I'm just going to read this really quick before I start my big chunker. And this was just a good time. Like my Goodreads rating <laughs> is five stars but my like little review I said this was a damn good time because it was like it was pure smut and I was here for it it was so good this is a friends to lovers romance this follows our hero and heroine as they made a bet when they were in college that if they were still single 12 years later that they would go away together and have a little rendezvous smutty good time and that's exactly what they did and I was blushing during these scenes and like I said this author for writing novellas she really like makes you not feel like anything is rushed like everything is explained so well and like by the end of the story I thought it was wrapped up really well and it just like I wanted to read more I was like how is it over already 
it was just so good. I really enjoyed it. This author, if you're looking for some like novellas, a good palette cleanser, a good smutty time, this is definitely the author for you. I'm so glad that I decided to pick this one up. But those are the romances that I have read so far in January. I have had such a good month so far. I have enjoyed everything that I have been reading and I just can't wait to see what else I read this month. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on Friday with possibly a book haul. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again and comment below what you guys are reading this month. I would absolutely love to know. Thank you.